Hey guys. Um, so first, thank you for coming. I'm Angela Panetta. Um, <laughs> I live in Oakland and I'm a rising senior at Skyline High School, which is really hard to say now. Very sad. <laughs> um, so for my summit project, I decided to do a video about using the game Animal Crossing. Um, and if you don't know what Animal Crossing is, I'll give you like a real brief run through about it. Um, the game is about like being on an island and then renovating it until it hits like five stars, which is the best an island can be. Um, and while this game is known for being very relaxing and chill, um, it has like very like underlying topics of like capitalism. And like you can see it in the way that the player is almost always in debt to Tom Nook, who we will talk about in the video that I will show. And Tom Nook kind of like owns the island and all the resources that the villager can use. So yeah, he just kind of has full control over everything. And um, there's also like a turn up stock market that I still don't fully understand, um, but that that exists. Um, so I chose this game because I've been playing it for a while now, you know, over 260 hours of it. <laughs> And it's always been a really big topic of discussion in the Animal Crossing community that, you know, Tom Nook is a capitalist who only wants to make money and doesn't care about the player or the rest of the villagers on the island, which, you know, fits, to, it fits into today really well. All these mega corporations that don't care about the people who they're polluting and they only care about making money, you know, so my video will touch on a bunch of topics that we've talked about during the summer academy such as like housing food water and air justice and all of these topics kind of link back to capitalism and you know the exploit of our earth and our people for material greed so i'll share my screen so everyone can watch the video okay You guys can hear it good, right? Okay. In this beautiful island, the villagers live at peace with the land. Had clean and fresh water, community gardens that provided free food for everyone in the community, and renewable energy sources, which were wind power and solar power. Until a money-hungry Tom Nook arrived with an idea to get rich quick this is one of the villagers homes who have built and lived in this house for generations as the generations have passed tom nook has raised the prices of the housing and our most recent villager found herself broke and in debt to tom nook there was only one option left to repay her debt she had to sell her house she sold it to Tom Nook, who then sold it at a low price to Marshall, a CEO with only one goal in his mind. The villager moved to a part of the island that was less taken care of by the government and found herself struggling to pay for new furniture because Tom Nook had raised the prices way too high. Even when she wanted to drown her sorrows in yummy food, the food was way too expensive. So she has to live with cardboard furniture. Womp womp. Marshall, however, was thriving. The rich get richer, while the poor get poorer. Marshall had completely changed the island by cutting down trees and polluting the water, which villagers drank. Many other villagers have gone sick due to Marshall's pollution, and even though the hospital was doing their best to care for them, they found that the medical bills were way too high. The villager goes to Marshall to ask him to end the pollution and pay for the damage that he's caused to the villagers to them burning fossil fuels and polluting the once safe water. She pleaded with him to think about the sick villagers who had been hospitalized due to Marshall's pollution, but Marshall didn't care. He shook his head no and told her to get out. The villager took it to the local government 
and after begging and pleading her case with them for hours and hours, they didn't want to listen, so nothing had been done. Tom Nook didn't care because Marshall made him rich. But she didn't give up. She gathered all of the villagers on the island and told them about what Marshall had done to their once beautiful island. Together, they went back to the government and protested Marshall's wrongdoings until they finally listened. Marshall was forced to leave the island and clean up his pollution, while Tom Nook, who sold him the land, was fired. People celebrated. Their home was once again beautiful, clean, and free for all to enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>